Hi, welcome back. We're doing lesson four on adding and subtract, subtracting with radicals and rational expressions. And what we mean by radicals are just square roots, cube roots, fourth root, fifth roots, and rationals, they're the exponents that are fractions. So that's what we're going to look at now. Okay, let's start with our radicals first. Okay, adding and subtracting radicals. Basically, you have to think of radicals as like terms. So the square root of 3 has the same value as the square root of 3, but it has a different value than the square root of 2. So these two have the same value, therefore we can add them together because they're like terms. So if you see this problem, 5 square root 3 plus 6 square root 3 minus 8 square root 2, you're going to add together the two like terms, which are the 5 root 3 and the 6 root 3, so that's just simply 11 square root 3. Now we can't subtract this 8 square root 2 because it is a different radical, and the square root of 2 has a different value than the square root of 3, so we would just bring that down, and that would be our solution. Okay, so adding, well, kind of like the like terms, okay? So let's look at this one. We have the square root of 8 minus 3 square root 2. Okay, it doesn't look like we can add those together, but we actually can, because the square root of 8 can be simplified. If you remember, the square root of 8 is 2 times 2 times 2. So we can take out a square a 2 and leave the square root of 2 under the radical. So that becomes, the square root of 8 becomes 2 square root 2. And so we can subtract from it 3 square root 2. So 2 square root 2 minus 3 square root 2 ends up being just a negative 1 square root 2. So we just write negative square root 2. So that would be our answer. So sometimes they're already simplified like the first one, but other times you have to actually simplify the radical first and then combine. So let's look at one more of those, this time with a cube root. So we have the cube root of 5 minus 2 cube root of 250. Wow, 250 is pretty big. Um, how do we want to break that down? Let's look at, uh, it's an even number, so let's do 2 times 125. Okay, 125 is a perfect cube. If you remember, it's 5 times 5 times 5, so there's a group of 3, so we can take out a 5, okay? So that's 5 coming out, but we already have a 2 here, so 5 times 2 is 10 cube root, and we have the 2 left, okay? So we have 5, our cube root of 5 minus 10 cube root of 2. Can we combine those? Because they're both cube roots. No, we can't combine those. This would also have to be the cube root of 5. So that would be the final answer. Square or cube root of 5 minus 10's cube root of 2. Okay, so that's what they look like when they're radicals. What do they look like if they're rationals? In other words, exponents that are fractions. So let's throw a couple up here. What if we have x to the 1 half and we're adding 3x to the 1 half and we're subtracting x to the 3 fourths, okay? Well, those radicals, those rational expressions, that just means a square root, and that just means a square root, but that's a fourth root. So you could rewrite those as radicals if you wanted to, switch the form, but for a second we're just going to look at them as rationals. What you've got to look at is we're going to add together the like radicals, okay? Since this exponent is one half and that exponent is one half, I can add these together, okay? And I'm just adding the coefficients because it's basically adding like terms. So if I have the square root of one half and I'm writing an invisible one, we don't write it, but it's there, plus three x to the one half, I'm gonna end up with four x to the one half. Now, it won't combine with this because that's actually a fourth root and not a square root. So I'm just gonna bring that down and that would be our solution. So you're just adding together the coefficients of the fractions that are the same, have the same radical or rational exponent. So it's kind of like just adding like terms again, but this time the like term is the like rational exponent. So let's look at one more of those. What if you have 
2x to the 2 fifths minus 8x to the 2 fifths plus 6x to the 2 fifths. Okay, since our exponents all match, we can just combine the coefficients. So 2 minus 8 is negative 6x to the 2 fifths plus 6x to the 2 fifths. Okay, what are we going to end up with? Negative 6, positive 6, 0x to the 2 fifths or just 0. So that would be the answer to that one. Okay, so that's how you handle those radicals and rational expressions. From there, I think you guys can work on today's assignment. So good luck on worksheet four.